All right, so we're going to decompose to help us solve division facts. Now, decompose means to break down into smaller parts. Decompose, break down into smaller parts. For example, if I had the number 52, I could decompose it into 30 and 22. That Those are smaller numbers, but they still together make 52. I could decompose it into 50 and 2. Smaller numbers, but together still make 52. In this example, I'm going to use 40 and 12. Together still make 52, but they're smaller parts. And I chose those numbers for a reason that you're going to see in just a second. Now, 52 divided by 4. We don't know that off the top of our head. You Maybe. I don't know. Um, if you're looking at it, you might think, oh, I need paper and pencil. I need to draw a model. Or, or let's decompose 52 into smaller parts. Just like we said earlier, we're going to break it into 40 and 12, right? So I got this model here. Let's go ahead and show that. I'm going to split it up between 40 on that side and then 12 on this side. So now that there's smaller numbers, I think I can do this division problem a lot easier. You might see why I picked these numbers 40 and 12. Since I'm dividing by 4, I chose numbers that are easy to divide by 4. So 40 divided by 4 is just 10. 10 times 4 equals 40. That's why I know 40 divided by 4 equals 10. And then same thing over here. We have 12, but wait a minute. This is a 10. I can't divide it like this. So I'm going to regroup it into 1s. Watch out. All right. Now that I have 12 1s, 12 divided by 4, again, I know that already is 3 because 3 times 4 is 12. So I got 40 divided by 4 is 10. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Put them together, and we have 4 groups of 13. 52 divided by 4 is 13. What about that? Let's do, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Yeah, yeah, all right. No more division problems. Well, here's another one. Okay, 54 divided by 3. Again, we're going to decompose that 54 into smaller numbers, but we want to choose numbers that are going to be easy to divide by 3. Me personally, this is what I'm going to choose. You can choose something else, but this is what I'm going to choose, okay? 54 can be decomposed into... 30, you knew I was like, you, you knew I was gonna do that. 30 and 24. Now I pulled the 30 out first because you already know I want to divide by this because it's gonna be 10. Alright, 30 divided by 3 is 10. Now I had 24 left over, which was perfect because 24 is also divisible by 3. Okay, I know that. 3 times something is going to give me 24, that's 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8, so 10 and 8 together give me 18. 54 divided by 3 is 18. Oh, let's go. All right, let's do another one. 74 divided by 2. Okay, now this one's a little bit bigger than the other ones. 74, let's decompose that into smaller numbers. Now, you could if you want to do several numbers. I'm doing two, but if you want to, you can decompose 74 into 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 14. I'm not going to do that, but you could. I'm going to decompose 74 into 60 and 14. All right. I chose 60 because I personally know what 60 divided by two is. And then I have 14 left over, which perfect for me is also divisible by two. So 60 divided by two, something times two equals 60. That's 30. 30 times two is 60. Okay. And then over here, 14 divided by two. That's easy. I know that's seven. Yeah. All right. So 30 and seven together make 37. 74 divided by 2 is 37. One, two, let's go. All right, this one's going to be a little bit more challenging. You ready? You ready? You ready? If you're not ready, pause the video. You didn't pause it? Let's keep going. All right, 46 divided by 3. Let's do it. Let's decompose 46 into smaller numbers that are still divisible by 3. Okay, so I'm going to pull out 30 first because you know, you know. Okay, so I pulled out 30 first because I know I'm going to do, that's easy to divide by 3 because I know 3 times 10 is 30. But then I noticed that I have 16 left over, but I know my 3s and 16 is not a multiple of 3. So here's what I'm going to do. This is just me. 
this is what I'm gonna do. Instead of doing 16, I'm gonna decompose that even further into 15 and one. Now you might be thinking, what are we gonna do with that one? I put it in orange so we don't forget about it. We're gonna work with that later, okay? But for right now, let's work with the 30 and the 15. 30 divided by three, we got that is 10. 10 times three is 30, 30 divided by three is 10. And then 15 divided by three, that is five. Let's go. So those two together, 10 plus five, is 15. Now our answer is not 15. Because remember this one from before? We had an extra one that we did not use, okay? 15 times three is 45, not 46, but we still had that one. So it's not 15, but 15 with the remainder of one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is just a strategy. If you wanted to use it, go for it. Ayy. But if you don't want to do it, don't do it, okay? It's just another strategy. We're coming up with a bunch. Do what you do what makes sense to you. Yeah. All right. I'll see you next time.